Ah, what is up, everybody? Welcome into the Thursday night live stream. I am so happy to see you guys in here. Daggone it. It's been a long week. I'm a little tired, but you know what's better than being tired is being tired and drinking some bourbon. So that's what that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm so excited for tonight's live stream. I'm so excited for this one tonight. You guys are going to uh, love it. It's going to be different, I guess. I mean, if you, you know, if you take different as being like, I'm drinking, I'm drinking, I'm drinking as being different, then things are going to be basically the same, mostly the same, slightly different, mostly the same. Who's to say? We're going to find out together. First off, Trev Wilson, you handsome devil, you sultan of... Trev Wilson, hello. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I am so happy to see you guys in here tonight. This is wonderful to be back in the studio to not only be talking about uh, Kentucky, but to be talking about bourbon. And instead of uh, answering questions from people who are angry that they haven't received their unemployment checks yet, now I actually get to talk with people who are angry that uh, they can't go can't go out and buy bottles of whiskey. So uh, instead, we're all gonna drink together the bottles of whiskey that we have in storage, or have been sent by distilleries, and which is something that I'm going to be doing, and I am very excited for tonight's live stream. Um, I'm rocking the. Uh, let me, let me let me do this. Maybe I can do this as well. Is that gonna show up? No, not really. That's okay. Uh, but this is my HBO Watchmen shirt, which was sent to me by uh, my cousin, who works for HBO and is an editor over there. So I'm very happy to have have this in my possession. Of course. Um, a couple of things that I want to mention up top. First off, if you have uh, downloaded slash listened to this week's episode, thank you so much for doing so. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Curtis helped to keep me on track, I would say. Um, <laughs> uh, Brian Bernicke wants to call the Timbip line and cuss me out about not getting his stimulus whiskey. Well, I mean, by all means, go ahead and do that. Uh, but it's going to get you nowhere, sir. It will get you nowhere. Uh, <laughs> uh, Chris is going on a buying run here shortly. Uh, will Henderson says, what's up? Hello, Will Henderson. It is good to see you, my friend. Um, got new subscribers to the channel hopping on all of a sudden. Russ Woodman, James Coffey. Um, I saw another one a second ago. Patrick Fulmer. My goodness gracious, um, Eric Bogard, guys, thank you all so much for subscribing to the channel. This is incredible, Mash and Drum, Jason, thank you for being here. Um, guys who are new to the channel, I am not at the point where I can do Super Chats, so instead of doing that, I do have my PayPal linked below. Um, I also have my Venmo and Cash App links, or accounts, uh, listed below in the description of this uh, this this video, Bottled and Bond has also subscribed to the show on YouTube. Goodness gracious, thank you all so much for uh, being subscribers. We are trying to get to the 1,000 subscriber mark. Uh, I know that I'm not primarily a <clears throat> whiskey tuber, uh, but doing live streams is again part of what I do. Um, as part of my my journey uh, throughout here. So again, if you want to do a pseudo super chat, it is below in the description. That's how you can get to it. So I am warming up in my little, I think they call this the neat glass. 
No, the no noser. Was it the noser? Might be called the noser without an E, if I remember correctly. It's just Turkey 101, man. This is actually the first 2020 bottle of Turkey 101 that I've uh, purchased. And I'm looking forward to more. And I guarantee you that there is something in here. This is definitely not the neat glass. This is the noser glass. Uh, Whiskey Crusaders. Hello, Matt, by the way. Uh, oh, no, excuse me. That was uh, Donnie, the Linux cat. Uh, that asks, where is ADHD Fishkey? I am not sure where uh, our buddy Matt Porter is tonight. By the way, I want to say a big thank you to all of our moderators for being in here. Donnie Linux Cat, Trev Wilson. Uh, I guess just you two at the moment. I thought I saw... Oh, no, Steve A's in here, too. Sorry, Steve A, I missed your, uh, missed your earlier comment. Thank you for being here, sir. A uh, big shout out to the Blue Wrench crew here on the Tim Bip YouTube channel. Um, Donnie asked, anybody heard of Tainted Wild Turkey 101 from February? Tainted in what way? I'm very curious. Very, very curious. Richie Z says, hello, Perry. Greetings, Perry and Whiskey Buddies. Greetings to you, Richie Z. Uh, James Coffee is drinking Knob Creek 120. Uh, and Rare Breed is up next. Brian said that he has this glass, the noser, the NOSR. So, Eric Jansen. Hello, Eric. How are you, buddy? Uh, but Donnie clarified with off profile. This is the only 101 that I've had from this year, and I think that it's pretty solid. I think it's pretty solid, to be honest. But, um, so. If you guys have questions for me, uh, you can either type them in the chat or if you want to get uh, more directly linked to me. Uh, like I said earlier on, the uh, alternative to Super Chats is listed in the description below. Uh, you can use PayPal, Square, or Venmo to uh, send Super Chats, and then I will give you a little shout out, of course, on the stream, and then of course, uh, I will answer your question. Uh, Steve A. also has one of my noser glasses. ADHD Whiskey, Matt Porter did make it in here. Uh, Matt Porter, you have a bonus episode of This Is My Bourbon Podcast dropping tomorrow. So that means that Matt is going to be the first of the ISO sessions uh, that will be coming out. And that is coming out tomorrow. Uh, I need to finish up the editing. It's going to take me a little bit. But... Matt is going to be the very first of the ISO sessions. So I'm very excited about that. Um, we've got some more as well uh, that will be coming up over the next few weeks. Uh, Brian Brennicky sends the very first super chat of the evening. He said, uh, I have to break the proverbial super chat ice. Thank you, sir. You know what I'm going to do? So I'm going to cheers you on the first of my, that's a strange sound, uh, the first of my pours for this uh, barrel craft spirits tasting that I'm about to embark on tonight. Uh, Chris says, do not forget to keep in touch with John. That is John from Michter's Distillery uh, because he will get distracted. Yes, I am going to be sending John an email tomorrow or a message, whatever it is. So I was very fortunate and uh, excited to receive uh, three different samples uh, from the Barrelcraft Distillery, Barrelcraft Spirits? Barrelcraft Spirits Company. Uh, this week, it was very surprising to me. I was not expecting these to come my way. Uh, <clears throat> but... This first one is the Barrel Bourbon, Batch 21. It's Batch 21. My goodness. Uh, this was nominated for and won uh, the best bourbon overall at the San Francisco uh, World Spirits Competition. <sighs> I'm very excited. I'm very excited to get into this one with you all. Uh, the second one. 
was the barrel rye, which is uh, batch number three, 116.7 proof. Cannot wait to dive into that. And then finally was the barrel dovetail at 124.84 proof. Uh, no word on which batch or release this is. Uh, if anybody has more information about this, uh, please let me know. I'm going to go ahead and pour up these other two bottles uh, just so I have them ready to go as we move along. But uh, I do have <clears throat> the Batch 21 bourbon ready and in the wings. And then I'll move, I'll just move up in proof. We'll just, we'll just do that. I feel like that's appropriate uh, at the moment. So, finishing up the pours with the rye. And I will say, um, I did uh, take a little, I took a little sip of these yesterday because for anybody who doesn't know, I started doing a customer service job for the Unemployment Insurance Office of Kentucky. I made a decision and I'm sticking with it. Anyway, um, during that, Yesterday, um, I decided to do a little tasting of these, and uh, I will not reveal what I tasted until I have done them for you, good people, as well. Uh, Donnie wants to know where his money is. Uh, just coming in, I uh, not here. <laughs> Uh, Todd Cooper sent in the next super chat. He said, uh, get yourself a bottle or two of the good stuff. You deserve it after all the fun customer service you're doing. Todd Cooper, my friend, thank you. Little cheers for you, buddy. So I said that I'm going to be doing a tasting of these three different barrel craft spirits. Let's get into it, man. So this first one, um, and I'm, I'm going up in proof. So this first one is 106.34 uh, proof. Uh, this is batch 21, uh, which also won the best bourbon at the San Francisco World Spirits Competition. So mm. dark leather is very prominent up front. So raspberry note too. That's kind of penetrating. Um, I would I will say there's a savory note as well. <sighs> kind of seasoned steak. I would say. I would say seasoned steak. <sighs> Let me just. Okay, I think I'm ready now to actually get back into it. See, it's funny because this is supposed to be at least a 10-year-old bourbon. And I'm definitely picking up more of the grains in here. Um, also, Russ said, uh, I believe, Russ, you're, you're new to the live streams. Uh, glad to see it's not only my Glencairns to get all schmutzy. I... <laughs> Dude, I don't know what else to say, man. I, I have very oily hands, so all of my glasses get like... You know the the uh, the first uh, Batman movie, the Michael Keaton Batman movie, where you can clearly see where people have been like putting his, his, his mask on? Like you can see the fingerprints and everything. That's what happens with my Glint Cairns. Well, really any of my glasses, so... There's a very predominant, like, toasted, a toasted note. 
but it's kind of like you set fire to maybe incense, like kind of an incense flavor, but it's really light. It's not overpowering by any means, um, but it's it's. Okay, all right. I know this is what everybody's... This is part of what everybody is here for. It's for me to give my thoughts on the best whiskey, best bourbon, rather, of 2019 based on the San Francisco World Spirits competition. So, let me just start by saying I don't have all the clout that I need to justify my claims. And also, these were sent to me for free. I was not paid to do these reviews. I did not request them. It was totally unsolicited. These were straight from the, the, the fine, nice folks at the Barrel Craft Spirits Company. So, with that in mind, I am remaining neutral. So, sip one. <laughs> you definitely heard that. I uh, when I get incense, Richie Z asks, "Do I get the nice wood smoke?" That's kind of what I'm what I'm getting at. I think um, it's not so much like the it, it it really is the wood smoke. I think is what I'm what I'm getting at. It it's not that scent um, that is familiar with incense it's definitely more of like the earthy woody qualities to it um also i definitely talked through um isn't it great how they have their own tape on the barrel box it was awesome it was well i don't have it anymore sorry um let let me let me take another sip because I kind of talked through my first one. Oh. It is oily, coats the tongue. It's got such a long deep finish to it but the the palette is just straightforward like s'mores and it's marshmallows that have definitely been roasted um over fire and uh jason asks is that barrel blend the usual dickle indiana kentucky yes it is also steven sussman is in here hi steven Good way all the way from up in New York. I'm glad you're surviving, my friend. Stay safe, please. Anyway, so the initial sweetness definitely starts up front. It rolls into the savoriness. Um, starts to become this animal of... Like... Like, it, it's strange, but it's like caramel-covered saltines. Or caramel... Or like... Yeah, but then again, there's a layer of chocolate to it. So if you could double dip caramel and chocolate onto maybe even potato chips, I mean, that that's something. I mean, this is definitely, um, th this is intense. It's got a lot of depth and complexity to it. Um, and I enjoy it a lot. I really do. Is it the best thing that I had last year? I don't think so. But I can understand why this would receive high praise. I can understand why this would uh, get through many judges to the point where they would say, we have a winner. And it's all about, it's all about preference. It's all about what it's up against. But, you know, oops, sorry. 
my mic's extra hot tonight, so I apologize if I bump into it a little bit, and those of you with earphones uh, are affected as such. So, I apologize. Um, this is spectacular. Really, it is. I wish that I had had this actually in uh, 2019 because I would have I would have ranked this. I would have ranked this. So uh, I'm going to hold on to some of it. I might do a little bit of a blend um, towards the end, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. The night is young, and I'm expecting a baby. So not from you guys. My wife is pregnant. I'm not expecting anything from you guys other than just to hang out and have a good time. And if you really feel like it, the Super Chats are linked below in PayPal. Um and uh, Square and Venmo, but otherwise. Uh, so I'm moving on to the uh, the barrel rye. Uh, Matt from Whiskey Crusaders also said, my kid's not screaming, so they should be all good. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, I am now drinking batch three of the barrel rye. It is 116.7 proof, and I'm excited for this one. Uh, I was very, very pleased by this one when I had my tasting yesterday. Um, we'll, 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 we'll get into it. We'll get into it. Uh, Whiskey Crusaders, congrats on the baby again. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate that, buddy. Okay, hold on. I apologize. Okay, there's one. Coffee beans. Two. And another arm. Three. Okay. Oh, Richie D uh, Z, did you not know that um, I was I was expecting a baby? <laughs> I apologize. Um, yeah, we, we announced it uh, a couple weeks ago, I guess. And uh, we just found out on Tuesday that we're having a girl. <laughs> I am so excited. But mentally... I am not ready for the amount of daddy pleases that I am going to have to avoid. <laughs> I am not prepared for this little baby face, toe-headed kid. And I just know she's going to be blonde. She's going to come up to me and just look at me. I don't care. It could be ice cream. It could be a pony. It could be the castle in Versailles, Kentucky. And she's going to look at me and go, Daddy, please. And I'm going to look down at her and go, yeah, all right. <laughs> That's my future. That's what I have to, what I have to look forward to. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm just going to, I'm going to be in trouble uh, in the next few years. Chad Holly is back. Hello to uh, our one of our other moderators. Thank you for being here, my friend. Uh, Whiskey Padawan said, "Awesome shirt. Thank you, Juan. Appreciate you for uh, enjoying my Watchmen shirt. My cousin works for HBO, and he sent this to me. Uh, Watchmen might have been my favorite thing to come out uh, entertainment wise last year. Just hands down." Hands down. Uh, Joseph asks, is that one of the proof monsters? It is not. This one is 116.7. So it's not It's not in the 152 range, 153, or else I would be either on the floor gasping for air or saving it for last. So who's to say? Um, Super Chat just came in. Uh, from Chad Holly. he said, congrats, Papa Bear. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Cheers to you. Yes. Uh, Brian Brennicke said, my baby girl is going to college thirds uh, this fall. Uh, enjoy the years. They are amazing and go by so fast. You'll be such a great dad. Thank you, Brian Brennicke. <laughs> I'm barely even ready for this baby to be a day old, much less 18 and getting ready to go to college. That's... Jason from Ashton Drum said, be prepared to buy a pony. I am saving up. Uh, Chris said, wait until she's 16 and looking at your cupboards and saying, daddy, please. 
<laughs> scary, scary stuff. Richie said, you're in for some happiness. I am, and I am very excited. I'm very, very excited. I can't believe it. Brent Bailey is here. Hello, Brent Bailey. Uh, you All you missed um, is one one sample so far, and it was the barrel batch ooh, 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 21 uh, sample that uh, was sent to me from the kind, kind folks at Barrel Craft Spirits. I am now moving on to the Barrel Rye Batch 3. Also, Papa Ritter's here. So, you guys welcome Papa Ritter in, for sure. Uh, Barrel Bourbon just mentioned me in their story, so... Uh, there might be some folks who are coming in here to get the lowdown on some of these, some of this tasting here soon. As always, treat them with respect, please. They're new to the family. Hopefully they'll stick around. This is such quintessential rye. It is minty. It is earthy. It's got a strong note of clove in there too but everything's layered so well it, honestly this reminds me of Kentucky Owl Rye and I can't <laughs> it just smells so similar to it and well Grandpapa Ritter okay you're right sorry Joseph <laughs> um it, it's it's such a pleasant nose to it i love the proof on this too i mean it's it's not it's not pushing away any of the flavors that are present in the nose um but it it's definitely adding into um, what is what is being introduced. And I love it. I love this nose. Uh, Chris, I will definitely give your all's love to Lucy, for sure. Mmm. So it starts out very traditional rye whiskey, I would say. It starts out with these these notes of um, these these minty notes, but there's a, a woodiness to them as well, kind of like what is that? Kind of tree barky, maybe a little bit of like sap or syrup. Um, that kind of starts to fade into this easy, like graham cracker, graham cracker, cracker, this graham cracker flavor that is so unique. And I've not really had on a rye before, but this is definitely on par with some of the some of the Kentucky Owl rye releases. If we're talking about top tier ryes, um, I think it's in in range with Kentucky Owl for sure. I don't think that it's quite uh, into the range of, say, a Sazerac 18 year. I think that it might be between the Saz 18 and the Handy, uh, both from the antique collection at Buffalo Trace. Um, but in general, um, I, it's, it's really very, very good. I, I'll, go, I'll go for another sip, though. Hmm. See, that time the spice started to come through a lot more. 
and the proof definitely did as well. While also still introducing a little bit more of the the syrupy side to it, um, it definitely starts to lean into uh, a a very verbose honey note. The honey flavor is dominant on the finish. Do dominant on the finish, seriously. So Clifton said close to BTAC rye. Yes, it definitely is. Here's the difference between the two. $10. Seriously, you're, you're going from a... Oops, sorry, guys. Uh, you're going from a $90 price point um, with the barrel spirits to about a hundred dollars uh, with those from the antique collection with that being said to each their own I mean ten dollars is not that much um, but I think if I am really digging deep I I, I am starting to feel like this is a very special rye. Batch three rye of barrel. It's it's special. It is unique and something that folks need to try for sure. Uh, Clifton said I get tons of honey finish on E.H. Taylor rye. I get that for sure. Uh, Joseph asked, uh, is it more mint or dill? I would say more mint. I'm definitely not getting dill on this one. It almost leaves my mouth like, like sticky. Does that make sense? Like if it, it, the the mouth feel on it is so viscous that I, mm, mm, so pleasant. I want to try that, and like, there's something sad to be said about wanting to go. Yeah, I'd like to try a ninety dollar rye whiskey or $90 whiskey in general in a cocktail. But you know what would be great? This in an old fashioned. It's got a sweetness to it that most ryes don't that would really impart some of the the bitterness that comes from old fashions. It would make for something really interesting. It would it, if this is the base for your cocktail automatically you've got something strong coming your way without a doubt but this is this is quality through and through i don't think you can go wrong with this uh, straight up on the rocks in a cocktail and and you know i do all of my reviews neat um i don't do them watered down i don't do them with an ice cube they're, they're all just straight out of the bottle um but In this instance, I want to try it in different ways. Yes. Uh, Steven asked, did it go up in price, MSRP? Mm, yeah, a little bit. Joseph said, really? You're getting BTAC SAS for 100 bucks? I'm just going off of MSRP here. That's it. That's all, that's all I'm going off of. It's not that I can find it. It's just that as far as suggested retail price is, Yes. Dad said sweet shirt. Thank you. I'm going to continue showing off this shirt. Because I love it. And it's soft. Makes me feel like I'm swaddled in a cloud of butterflies. Cotton candy. Uh, Richie said he'll have to look for this barrel, uh, but he's been hesitant to go to Total Wine or small stores the past few weeks. Totally understand. Totally get it. Chad Holly said, I mean, better whiskey makes better cocktails. I'm into that, brother. I'm into that. Uh, Steven, I do not know what the age is on Batch 3 Rye. Let me actually look it up for you real quick. As so I take a giant swig of water. Um, barrel Rye Batch 3. Oh. 
Uh, it's a selection of four, six, and 14-year-old barrels from Indiana, Poland. Poland? That can't be right. What? Poland? What? Poland rye whiskey. Poland. Seriously. Huh. Did not know that Poland made rye. Bananas. That is crazy. Um... So, it is Indiana, Tennessee, Poland, and Canada. So, those four places are where the the rye comes from. Crazy. Four, six, and 14-year-old barrels. Uh, 116.7 proof. This also won the double gold at uh, the San Francisco World Spirits Competition from last year. So, man. It. See now I've got to look up some about this uh, this dovetail too because I want to. I'm just curious where it. Hmm. We'll look in a second. Anyway, <laughs> I apologize. I was very surprised by the fact that that was a that there was Poland, Polish, Polish rye whiskey included in this. I've never had a rye whiskey or a whiskey in general. From Poland. Bananas. Not water, secret vodka. <laughs> uh, Chris said, don't forget the likes. Yes, please. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, as always. And if uh, you would like to um, also uh, send in a super chat, of course, I don't have those available on my channel right now because I am not at thousand subscribers but you can send them into the paypal address or the venmo address or the square address all listed in the description of this episode or video below so um steven said poland that's awesome yes indeed matt from whiskey crusader said poland is correct they make great rye had no idea. Uh, Donnie F Linux Cat said, "Careful, Perry. Diana is Polish." Wasn't making a joke or anything. I was just su surprised. Uh, Dad said, "There's a joke somewhere." Grandpapa Ritter. Uh, Chad Holly said, "My mind is also blown with that fact." Fair enough. Um, Wildlife and whiskey said, "That's why I want to buy it. Get some from my family land. That is cool. Do that for sure." Um, Bourbon Buddy said, cheers, Perry, and everyone in this wonderful chat. Yes, cheers to everybody who is in this chat. It is so great seeing everybody in here, as always. Appreciate you guys. Joseph said, dovetail rocks. Dovetail is what I am going to be drinking next. So we will get into that. Uh, and Trev said, Poland is a wonderful country. I have never been there, but I would like to. Uh, Matt from Whiskey Crusaders said, in the Infinity Barrel, they also use Polish whiskey, uh, and the Crowded Barrel Boosh Rye. Oh, it's from Pol Poland as well. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I just want to live in this rye. This is one of the best ryes I've had in a really, really long time. Seriously. But I don't want to drink too much of it because I want to save it for a blend at the end, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. This last one is the barrel dovetail. Okay. Uh, I am going to look up a little bit of information on it as I am talking about what it is. Um, it is the 124.34 uh, edition. And it is finished in rum, port, and Dunn, D-U-N-N, Vineyards, Cabernet Barrels. 
Uh, if I could type, that would also help. Um, Donnie, like I said, I'm looking it up at the moment. Hold on just a second. Uh, it is batch three. Okay. Uh, it says it is blended to highlight some of our favorite flavors, woody bourbon, terroir, 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 uh, driven Dun Cabernet, toasted French oak, um, late bottled vintage port pipes, black strap molasses casks, uh, all working in tandem to create a buttery and deep whiskey as unique as it is delicious. Dovetail took almost a year to get right from blending to labeling, all coming together in a seemingly perfect point. Um, so it is a 10-year-old whiskey distilled in Indiana, finished in Dunn Vineyards Cabernet Barrels, 11-year-old bourbon distilled in Tennessee, finished in black strap rung casks and LBV port pipes. There's a lot of contradicting information there, but interesting nonetheless. Um, Chris Big Feats Donaldson is here. Hello, Big Feats. It's good to see you in the chat. Uh, Mash and Drum said, so they did so much finishing to that dovetail, they couldn't call it whiskey, hence dovetail. Oh, fair enough. That is fair. I get the essence of the distilled spirit in here, but it smells so much more like a wine. Really, it it be, between the cabernet and the the port barrels, it's just can y'all hear that? Sorry, Lucy's watching. Uh, <laughs> Lucy's watching Golden Girls downstairs. <laughs> Apologize. That's good. That was great. But it, it's it smells so much more like a wine or or even like an Armagnac. I mean, it it doesn't necessarily smell like a whiskey, but it is very pleasant. I mean, it is deep. It is a deep, complex nose, and honestly. There, there's a level to it where I'm not even sure that I am like fully equipped to talk about it because I, I know the components of the whiskey side of it. Um, but I don't, I don't know if like the, the finished side of it is something that I'm as a, <laughs> Joseph said, we can't hear it. You just look like you're having a stroke. That's just the quarantine finally getting to me. <laughs> anyway, this is a very good nose. It's nice and deep and complex. Um, Bourbon Buddy said, you just silently sang the Golden Girls theme. I know I came to the right place. Yeah, you did, buddy. Yeah, you did. Okay. We'll, we'll take a sip of this, and I will stop pretending to be singing the Golden Girls theme song, which was, I promise you, playing in the background of my life, but not necessarily in yours. Mm. It's like a gentle spice that leads into a fruitiness. Oh... Oh, man. There's like a buttery popcorn note to it as it starts to get into the finish, which is... What is this roller coaster of a flavor profile? Oh, my gosh. This might be one of the best finished whiskeys I've ever had. Just straight up, 
I'm, I'm not even going to beat around the bush about it. Um, it's, it's spectacular. Seriously. Um, Richie said, Perry, you have a great balance of visual and sound. What's your equipment so you know what to use when we open a YouTube channel? I will be after this current craziness. Um, so honestly, I'm just using uh, my Mac laptop uh, for video. And uh, my, my audio is coming through my Zoom H5 recorder. Uh, I am just using a basic... What is this? Not shotgun. It's not cardi cardioid. Cardioid. Um, I can't think of what this type of microphone is. I'll have to look it up and get back to you. Um, but I, I, I typically use these. Uh, Sorry. I typically use these, uh, the AT twenty twenties, for when I'm actually doing the podcast. Uh, but because we've been doing everything remote, I've had to kind of switch over to these microphones because. Uh, I it, it the internet doesn't accept it. I uh, accept these for some reason. Um, that's not that we'll talk about. We'll talk more in the comments and the direct messages later. Just, just, just shoot me a message. Anyway, this is very good whiskey. Very, very good whiskey. I hope I can. Okay, that's the most I can balance it anymore, and I get really nervous. Um, Jeffrey Wack is here. Hello, Jeffrey Wack. Thank you for being uh, a friend and present. Um, Clifton is leaving for his stream. We are all going to uh, hop over to his stream uh, after we're done with this. Brent Bailey is only getting mono audio. I apologize for that. Um, something about how I'm doing the, the audio on the on the zoom i'll figure it out and we'll fix it next week i apologize that being said barrel dovetail it's tasty it is pleasant and so many it it's so funny because it doesn't drink like it's 124 proof you know what's great about it too is that you're also taking your medicine. You are drinking what is going to protect you um, from from the coronavirus. So, what more can you ask for? Honestly, yeah. So I said this at the top, and I figured I may as well do it. I'm gonna have a little bit more of this dovetail before I go with this crazy idea. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm gonna do a little blend between the three because why not? Um, Grandpapa Ritter is about to tap out. He says, "Cheers and love you all." Bye, Dad. Or bye, Grandpapa Ritter. Or D. I. Oh my gosh. Elixir spirits. Hello, Tarek. Welcome into the chat, my friend. It's good to see you. So anyway. Uh, we're going to do a blend of uh, all three of these pours. So if you are just getting in and you want to see somebody ruin a completely fine tasting, it's the Barrel Bourbon Batch 21, which won Best Bourbon at the 2019 San Francisco World Spirits Competition. Batch 3 Barrel Rye. And the batch three of the barrel dovetail. So I have no idea what's going to happen with this. Uh, what is fortunate about it, though, uh, is that it is in my Perry pour glass. So, jeez, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, 
Now I'm ready to sniff this blend that nobody asked for. <laughs> it's strange. Uh, Donnie asked, which one had the Polish rye? It was the uh, barrel rye, batch three. So there you go. Uh, Joseph Brazo said my infinity bottle was really coming around, then I added a little dovetail and it got funky. Fair enough. That is very, that is very fair. Uh, Tony Mercury, hello, Tony. Welcome into the chat. It is good to see you in here. I uh, hope you have been well, my friend. It, see, the rye is really kind of overpowering the nose at this point uh, on, on this little strange blend. It smells like a finished rye, I would say. It definitely smells like it's finished in, I would say, port barrels. And it's, it's kind of similar to the Angel's Envy rye. Excuse me. A little inside baseball. That's the stuff that I cut out of every episode every week. So, <laughs> mm. whoa, that tastes like a cigar that might have turned. That is weird. What? funky nightmare have I just walked into. It's like Earth, Wind, and Fire met Thundercat. With a lot of lightning. That's so bizarre. So bizarre. Uh, Richie C. said, question, how and when did you connect with Chad and Sarah? Uh, they seem like awesome people. Well, first off, yes, they are incredibly awesome people. Um, I connected with them in 2017, so three years ago. Actually, like three years ago last month, um, Chad was working for a production company uh, here in Lexington, and they were working on um, the Lexington Comic Con. And I saw a live stream, and I had been watching his Bourbon Nights videos, and I commented on the live stream from the Comic Con. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's Chad from It's Bourbon Night. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be there tomorrow. Can I get a picture with you? And they're like, hey, Chad, somebody is commenting, like, you've got a, you got a fan from It's Bourbon Night. I was one of the few first people, first few people to recognize him uh, in some capacity. And he just straight up was like, yeah, absolutely. So uh, we connected then. Then we started having bourbon nights together. Uh, we, we had one, bur our first bourbon night. I think I've talked about this on the podcast before, uh, but our first bourbon night, was um, me just hanging out with some buds and I invited them to it because it was right around the time where they said, if you are having a bourbon night and we are nearby, it, feel free to invite us. And so I, you know, am from Lexington and they lived in Lexington. Sarah's from Lexington and we're here and I was like, Hey, do you guys want to come have this bourbon night with us? And it was hesitant, but it was a yes. And <laughs> once they they got over, they realized everything was fine. And we had a really, really good time. We had a great time. That was the first time I ever had anything... That was the first time I ever had anything out of New Orleans, and 
Uh, we also had the worst Blantons that I've ever had, um, which was unfortunately from like the early 90s uh, and was supplied to us by a friend. And he just said, here, I can't make it to this tasting. Let me um, <clears throat> let me give you something to try. And it was bad. It was really, really bad. Um, yes, Brian, once they figured out I wasn't a serial killer, we got along very well. Anyway, uh, after that, we just, we came, we became very, very fast friends, I would say. I mean, I, it, it was like, we just kind of, we just kind of latched onto each other. And... <clears throat> I, I was going through changes in my life and they were figuring out what it meant to be YouTube whiskey popularity. And like I was giving them for lack of a better phrase, mad props. I mean, I, I was really, really supporting them through and through and it just kind of, um, it just, snowballed man i mean i get i get to now call these two people that four years ago i didn't know three and a half years ago i didn't know some of my best friends i mean chad and sarah really and truly are two of my favorite people in the entire world and i share everything with them and i've been through ups and downs over these past few years and gotten to unload on them and and spend time with them in grief and celebration and everything and it was bourbon man it was bourbon that brought us together so i don't want to keep going for too long because um we have clifton's stream to get to as well um but I I want to I want to say this too before we get out of here. Um, this has been really difficult for me. This shutdown, this quarantine, this isolation has been really difficult for me. I haven't gotten to share with people in the thing that. has allowed me to have the best connections of my entire life and the best conversations and relationships of my entire life. And I sincerely miss not just Chad and Sarah, not just my drinking buddies, but my friends, Curtis and Swan, who get to come over and sit down with me every week and talk about this incredible thing that brought us all together. And I'm ready for it to be over. I know we all are. I know we all have different reasons for it. I know we're all excited for it to be past us. I'm so over it. I am. But my, I miss my friends and I miss my drinking buddies and I miss the opportunity to celebrate when good things happen like the fact that I have a baby that's going to be here in October. I don't get to celebrate that right now. But I know it's going to pass. I know we're going to get through it. And I look forward to when we all get through it. Um, yeah. So I'm sorry that I'm ending on a slightly somber note, but it's been a tough week. It's been a tough couple of weeks for me. But with that being said, I'm very thankful that I got to spend this time with you guys seriously seriously i am so thankful 
for you all, not just because you hang out with me for an hour every Thursday, but because you listen to the show and you download it and you share it with people and you continue to be supportive. So on that note, I'm going to get out of here because I want to hop on over to Clifton stream, which is starting right now. And, uh, yeah, uh, if you want to do some uh, follow-up Super Chats, you can find all the links below in this description. Um, you can subscribe and uh, like, comment, everything. Um, <laughs> all that. Uh, patron, patreon.com slash podcast where you become a patron of the show. Um, appreciate everybody who hangs in there with me. Cause I'm, cause I'm hanging in, I'm hanging in as hard as I can, but I love you guys so much. Thank you all so much. I will see you for tomorrow's first edition of the ISO sessions. I will see you next week for the regular episode and next week for these live streams. But until then, I'm Perry and this is my bourbon podcast, YouTube channel. I love you guys so much.